Shayasta joins us again tonight with health tips you need to know. Doctor, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me, Erica. So we're talking about prediabetes tonight. What is prediabetes? Erica, more than 80 million in the country have a prediabetes. Wow. And unfortunately, most of them, they're not even aware of it. But the question is, what's prediabetes? Prediabetes is when they do blood work, your fasting blood work, if your sugar is between 100 and 125, that means prediabetes. Erica, anything over 126 means diabetes. Another way that we can find out whether we're prediabetic or not, looking at the A1C. Any A1C between 5.7 to 6.4, that means person is prediabetic. So what causes prediabetes? That's an excellent question, Erica. Actually, one of the number one causes of actually prediabetes is abdominal obesity. When the belly fat, especially visceral fat increases, produces a hormone called resistant, which leads to insulin resistance. But what is insulin resistant? Basically, if you look at this slide, uh, Erica, insulin is like a key opens the door on the cell and allows, allows the sugar to get into the cell. When the belly fat increases, that hormone blocks action of insulin. When the key doesn't work, door cannot be open, sugar cannot get into the cell, it stays in the blood, initially prediabetes, then leads to type 2 diabetes. So when you have prediabetes, are you destined to get diabetes or are there ways to reverse it? That's another wonderful question, Erica. No, we can easily reverse type 2 uh, prediabetes and prevent from becoming full-blown diabetic patient. One of the key things actually we should measure our waist. If our waist measurement over belly button while we're standing is more than half of our height, means too much belly fat. If a woman is 5 foot, five feet and six, uh, uh, say 4 inches, that's 64 inches. If their waist measurement more than 32, that means too much belly fat. We can easily control and reverse prediabetes simply by small amount of weight loss. Amazing, even five to 10% of the weight loss can actually reverse prediabetes and avoid become full-blown diabetic patient. And one of the best ways to achieve that is incorporating concept of healthy eating and nutrition. Erica is so simple, small change in nutrition and incorporating physical activity, especially standing cardio, is very effective to reverse uh, insulin resistance and prediabetes. It can be beautifully achieve that, but the reality is, uh, uh, Erica, 80 million are prediabetic and they have a very short window of opportunity to change that. Otherwise, they're going to become full-blown diabetic patient, as you know, itself has uh, significant health consequences. Well, thank you for joining us, and it sounds like we can reverse it if you eat right and you exercise, Absolutely. Right? Very small changes yeah. can prevent this major medical issue. Well, if you have any other questions, you can contact Dr. Shayasta at the number on your screen. You can also get a free initial consultation. And stay with us. We'll be right back.